Welcome to the LifeRay DXP Basics course. In this module, we'll be setting up the development environment. There's a few key module takeaways for us. The first is that while LifeRay is largely tool agnostic, meaning that we can use any development environment you want, it can be accelerated and simplified by using LifeRay Developer Studio, which we'll go through in this module. LifeRay workspaces also provide various build scripts, configured properties, and these can be used to effectively hold and manage LifeRay projects. So for the exercises in this module, there's a few prerequisites. The first is that you need a Java JDK or a Java Development Kit installed to run LifeRay DXP, and you can download it here at this link with Oracle. You'll be downloading JDK 8. If you are installing Java for your first time, you'll also need to configure a Java Home variable in all caps, Java underscore home with no space, and you can Google how to configure that in your operating system. You'll also need to unzip module exercise files in the following folder structure. So if you're on Windows, this will be in your C drive, and you'll have a LifeRay folder there. If you're on a Unix system, this will most likely be in your user home directory, and you'll create a LifeRay folder there. You may also need a Docker installation if you're planning to use your development using Docker containers. But for this module, we'll be using local deployment, so we won't be concerned with the Docker if you're following the exercises here. So there's a few KPIs that are related to using LifeRay development environments. The first is that this increases the developer's ability to collaborate on projects because of what's provided already. This also reduces the amount of time spent creating new LifeRay projects, and reductions are always good for saving on costs. So first, we'll be talking about installing LifeRay development tools. The first tool that we'll be using is Blade CLI. And Blade CLI, or Command Line Interface, is a command line tool that's used to build and manage projects for LifeRay DXP. This is bootstrapped onto a Gradle-based environment, and it can be used in conjunction with a developer's preferred IDE. And so you might be using IntelliJ or Visual Studio Code, and you can use this alongside Blade CLI. Blade CLI it can create library projects used with any development environment. You can also create and manage DXP instances as well as deploy library projects. So it's a very lightweight and versatile tool that you can be integrating into your own dev environment. Then we have Developer Studio, and this is an integrated development environment or IDE that's based on the Eclipse IDE. And this has a series of plugins that facilitate simple development for library such as menus with context menus with actions. You have wizards to generate module baselines. You have drag and drop deployment for runtimes as well as auto reloading, a GUI for workflow definitions. And if you work with workflows, you'll know that a GUI is super helpful. And there's also more added onto this that I won't be mentioning. And this is included as part of the DXP subscription. So to get your dev environment set up, this will be probably the, the minimum that you'll be able to get away with. So you'll need Java JDK. This is a prerequisite that we mentioned. You need a code editor. So this can be as simple as Notepad or it can be as complete as a, an IDE. And then you'll need a build tool. You can grow your environment from there. So you can integrate LifeRay Dev Studio, and then you'll be using a LifeRay Tomcat bundle to deploy. And so this will kind of replace the build tool. You can also manage your code using Git if you're collaborating on projects. And then you can hook up a SQL database in order to store and manage your data. And then if you're working on a larger project, you might include continuous integration to test the quality of your code. You might use Java profiling. And then you might even hook up a SQL client to your database. 